The Groups and Scenes app helps you simplify your automations by grouping together bulbs, dimmers, and switches to act as one device. Or by capturing a group of devices in specific states, creating a scene, if you will, that you can save and recreate at any time. The groups and scenes you create become virtual devices that you can use in your dashboard, with Alexa or Google Assistant, or in any of our automation apps. So let's dive in. Once you get the app loaded, you'll see you have a choice to create a new group or a new scene, which makes sense because that's the name of the app. Give a bonus to whoever came up with that one. We're going to start by creating a new group. There are many uses for groups, but they're probably most commonly used to group light bulbs in the same room that you want to act together. So that's what we're going to do. I have four smart bulbs in my secret underground lair, so we'll name this secret underground lair lights. Next we'll go here and select our four smart bulbs. I could add dimmers and switches to this group too, but this is good for now. If I didn't see my devices in the drop down, I could click this button here and it will refresh the list. Now we have a few options. This enable group Zigbee message switch can, if you're grouping Zigbee bulbs together, sync them up so you don't get that popcorn effect of them turning on at different rates. These next two options can be helpful when using Hubitat dashboard. You can select to have the group device indicate the status as on if any one of the lights in the group are on. Conversely, you can have it indicate it is off if any one of the devices is off. This can be handy if, say, you create a group of all of your water sensors and you want to be alerted when any one of them is on. This last option you probably don't need to worry about. It limits the polling done by your hub, but if your lights in the group aren't working right, turn it off and that might be helpful. Okay, we've got our group set, so I'll click done. It's gonna take us back to the groups and devices menu, but let's look here in our devices and you'll see there's a new group device called underground layer lights that you can use in any of our home automation apps. All right, let's go back into our groups and scenes app and set up a scene. Remember, scenes go a step further by not only grouping devices together, but setting how they are to behave when the scene is turned on. So we're going to create a new scene and we're going to name it Knitting Time. The first thing we need to do is select our scene devices. For this scene, I need to select my knitting lamp, obviously, which is on a switch. There are two dimmers in my knitting room, so we'll select those here. And when it's knitting time, I want my neighbors to know I am not to be disturbed, so I will select my color patio bulb here. So those are the devices. We have not captured their state yet, which is indicated up here. Before we do that, there are some options to consider. We can select a button that would be virtually pushed when the scene is activated. This can be useful for activating a scene in a Lutron system. We can set a transition speed here to gradually dim our lights. This ignore activate switch off switch is not only interesting grammar, what it does is prevent the scene from being turned off as a whole. So with this toggled on, if you say, Alexa, turn off knitting time, it won't do anything. You'd have to turn all the devices in knitting time off individually. The Create Capture Device option gives you a second way to capture a scene without coming into the UI. You can designate a specific button as your capture device, then you can walk into the room where the scene is, set up your devices, and press that button, and the scene will be captured just like that. Finally, the restrictions. I'm not going to go through all of these, they just allow you to restrict when your scene can be activated. So let's get out of this. Alright, we've selected all of the devices we want as part of the scene. Let's hit done and save our progress so far. Now we need to capture their state. If you have a dashboard set up, you can go in and adjust the device levels in there. You can also go to the devices page in the UI here and set each device that way. But let's use the dashboard I've already set up. Our scene includes the knitting lamp, so we'll turn that on. It includes two dimmers, and we want to set those at 23%. And finally, the front porch light, which we're going to turn to bright red. Again, just to let the neighbors know I'm doing some hardcore knitting and I don't want to deal with their problems. With our devices set, we need to go back into our scene right here. And now we'll hit this capture button. Our scene is now captured. Anytime our new knitting scene device is turned on, all of the devices will, will return to the state they're in right now. If you want to edit your scene, say I want the lights in the scene to be a little bit brighter, I can adjust them manually like we just did and hit this recapture scene button, or I can go down here and click on the adjust scene settings and adjust the level right here. Now if I adjust the scene settings here, I do not want to go back and hit the recapture button. If I do, it will just override what I did. So, I'm going to hit done, everything is set, everything is adjusted, so I'll hit done to save the scene. 
The last couple things you can do is you can duplicate a scene, which makes it really easy to go in and edit so you have a second scene with those same devices and slightly different settings. And if you do that, you can also click here to create a scene transition. What this does when activated is you can select two scenes with the same exact devices and it will switch back and forth between the two scenes at a consistent interval of your choosing to drive your family completely bonkers. It's pretty great. So that's it for scenes. Again, like our groups, a new scene device has been created for you that you can use in automation apps or with Google Home or Alexa. I hope you find this helpful. For additional help, visit our community at community.hubitat.com. Thank you for watching, and thank you for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.